Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Martinez here. I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on how to create a header for your Google Classrooms. Here's an example of one that I currently have in my art classrooms and my K-8 art classrooms. Um, I have a lot of Google Classrooms uh, because I do have one for every grade level. So I do these a lot and I have lots of examples. Um, let's go ahead and just navigate right to Google Drawing, which is what we're going to use to create these classroom headers. So I'll go to my Google Drive. I'm going to go to New. So once I'm in my Google Drive, I'm going to go to New. I'm going to go to More. Oops. More and Google Drawings. Once I'm in Google Drawings, I'm gonna, the very first thing I'm going to do is change the title. Um, I, I just get in the habit of that so I know what I'm working on and I don't lose anything. So Google Classroom Banner Example. Um, and now I will change the size of my banner. So I'm going to go to File and Page Setup. I will change that to Custom and I will change inches to pixels. And now my dimensions are going to be 1000 by 250 and I will click Apply. So now I've got the size of my Google Classroom banner. So they will always be 1000 by 250 pixels. So the first thing I'm going to do is get a background for my Google banner. Before I do that, I'm going to do a an example of what I just showed you, but you could put anything in the here. So feel free to get creative and have fun and do whatever you want in your Google Classroom banners. Um, First thing I'm going to do is go to insert an image and I will go to search the web. And I'm going to click um, wall and floor background. And when I do that, these are the options that I'm going to get. Uh, I will go ahead and click on, let's see. Um, this one looks kind of fun. So I will click on that one or let's make it easier. And I will unclick these first. And I will click on um, just a really simple one. And I just double clicked and what that did was um, insert my image. Now to size up my image and make sure it's the right size, I'm just going to play around a little bit and make sure that it fits my file. Uh, and just remember, if you're not using those diagonals, it's going to squish a little, uh, is what I tell my students. So just be mindful of what you're doing to your image. Okay, now it's perfectly fit to the size of my Google Classroom banner uh, file. So now I'm going to just start bringing stuff in. So first thing I'll do is go ahead back to insert an image and I'm going to search the web again. Anytime I search for anything on the web um, that I'm going to add in, it needs to have a transparent background. So a couple things are happening here. Um, if I put transparent if I could spell it right, transparent crayons. Um, when I click on these, I'm going to click on this jar, and I could also click insert instead of double clicking. When this jar comes up, you can see I've got just the jar, and this whole background's transparent, which means I can resize this to whatever size that I need and move it around on my um, file or within my file. Also remember, Again, just another reminder, use those corner boxes to make sure that your picture doesn't end up squished. And if you make a mistake, you can just click the undo button. Um, I also use Bitmojis a lot in my banners. Uh, Bitmoji is an app where you can make little avatars of yourself. And I will go ahead and pull one of those open. So insert image. I've got them on my computer. I've got a file of them. So I'm going to click on this. Um, I could flip this, so this is already selected, and I'm gonna go to Arrange and Rotate and Flip Horizontally, so I can move my Bitmoji around or any object that I'm working with. I'm just gonna kind of move it to the side, not all the way to the side though, position it right. And since I'm spray painting, I'm going to insert a text box, and I'm going to put a welcome sign here. So I'm going to put welcome to art and I will 
select that text because I need it to match my spray paint. So I'll pick a color that matches my spray paint or close to it. And I'm gonna make my text a little bigger. That's way too big. I'll make it a little smaller. And I wanna change the font size as well. So I will change it to something a little more fun. Um, okay, so that's about what I want. And it definitely gives you an example of what you could do in Google Drawing to make your classroom banner. So I can bring more items in. I'll show you really quick how um, you could bring in a famous work of art. So I'll search from the web again, and I will click, um, let's see, let's try and get a Picasso painting. So we've got all these great Picasso paintings. Um, let's go ahead and pick on some of these are not Picasso paintings. So I'll pick on this painting um, and click insert. When I do that, now I've got a work of art that I can scale down and I can hang on my wall. So I could do that with all kinds of works of art. Um, I could also do that with student works of art. So I change this banner up and sometimes I'll insert student works of art. They get really excited um, and it's a way that I can show them some um, show them some art love in the classroom so they get some positive feedback. Um, now that I've got this, the way I'm going to get this into my Google Classroom is to go to File. So we all know that it's saved on my drive, but I need to save it outside of my drive so I can insert it into my classroom. So I'm going to go to File and I'm going to go to Download. And I'm going to download it as a PNG image. So I will download that. It is downloaded to my computer now. Uh, I want to make sure that it's there before we go see all those files that I've downloaded. Um, and now I'm going to head to one of my Google Classrooms. I'm not going to change it because that wasn't a complete file, but I will show you how to add it quickly. So I'll click on Upload Photo, and I will. I could just take my picture and just drag it right in. Again, I'm not going to complete that process, but after I drag it in, then I just click Select Class Theme, and I've got my file right in my classroom banner. So have fun making your Google Classroom banners.